Graph theory. We're going to explain graph theory now. So graph theory is a, a part of discrete mathematics, okay? Now, you might say, oh, discrete math. I don't want to learn about math. This is really cool, okay? Because what it has is it has two things. It has nodes and it has edges, right? And these nodes are connected with these edges, right? So this is one node and this is another node and this is connected with an edge. Now, this would be a non directional graph, right? Because, well, there's no arrow here, meaning that you can travel from this node to this node. And in theory, you can also travel back, right? So those are the same thing. And there can be all sorts of different crazy things over here that you could have, right? So you could have the nodes could have uh, names, right? So A, B, right? And then maybe we have C right here and maybe we have D right here. And then maybe they are connected like this, right? So we can have something like this. And then the edges, or let's do this actually. And then the edges could have certain costs associated with it, right? So three, uh, two, three, let's do two and one, right? And then you can ask, hey, what is the cheapest route to get to C? Oh, and then you'd say, well, this costs one. This costs two, so that's going to be three. And then this route is three. And then so you say, oh, each of them is that those are fine. Boom. That's step number one. Step number two, you can also have a directed graph, right? So now those would be where well, you have an arrow right here, right? So that way, let's say you go to B, you go to C, and then you can go back to B again. And then maybe you have D right here. And then maybe you have E right here. And you can go here. And then maybe you even have this. And then usually you do this, right? There you go. And you can ask the same thing. It's like, okay, this costs two, this costs one. So I'm, you know, that takes three right here. If I go another route, wow, that's way too much. So obviously this is the fastest route or the route that costs the least. And that's basically graph theory. And it's it's very easy to sort of represent this because the way to represent this is as a set of edges and a set of, I don't know if you do the edges or the or the nodes first. And also, I don't think the nodes are, are denoted by um, this. It's fine. So you have a set, right? A, B, C, D. Right? So this would be this graph right here. And then you have a set of edges, which would be A, B, and then you would have A, C, and then you would have A, D, and then you have B, C. There you go. And I think that those, those are the edges, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. And I think you would put the costs in a different set, if I recall correctly. And this would then, then be the definition of the graph, right? And then there you go. And that's that. this describes this graph. So without seeing this, I could recreate it just with, with these parameters, which is pretty cool, right? So there you go. That's graph theory. Very small part of it. There's tens of things more that you can do with this. And, and you know, obviously the graphs get way more complicated than this, but they can be unbelievably useful as a tool for computer science because many things are actually graphs, uh, believe it or not.